Good morning, Quad Cities. It has been a pretty quiet start to the day. Now we're starting to see the light out there a little bit more. Pretty heavy cloud cover that's sticking around for this morning. It'll take some time, but should see some sunshine as we get into the afternoon. Again, quiet conditions out there, but there has been a couple of showers being spotted on radar as the system has been pushing through Wisconsin into northern Illinois. I'm not expecting any more rain after this. I think we'll see these continue to decrease over the next couple of hours and then all of us will dry out. But again, those clouds will take some time to really clear. Should get some sunshine peaks into the afternoon and temperatures, especially along and south of I-80, should get to the lower to mid 60s. But we'll have to pay attention to how much clearing we get because if we do see a lot of clearing today, it'll remain clear into tonight. We'll see lows drop to the 30s, and that also poses the threat for a little bit of frost to develop. Again, mainly looking along and north of I-80 for that potential. We'll continue to keep an eye out on it, but if we don't really see much clearing and those clouds kind of stay stubborn into tonight, then we really won't be too worried about that potential for frost. But it's definitely there. As we head into tomorrow, though, a lot of sunshine expected. Highs around 60 degrees, although we're going to bring in those northwest winds, and that's going to uh, be rather breezy, too. Gusts up to around 20 miles per hour. We'll stay pretty nice into Tuesday, but Wednesday tracking in a pretty big uh, area of low pressure and that's going to also bring in a lot of widespread rain. This is going to start to build in from the south by Wednesday afternoon, becoming more widespread, especially by Wednesday night into Thursday. And this is just a constant streamline of showers, something we haven't seen in quite some time. Again, this is going to be a couple days of wet weather as the system really is going to continue to impact the area. Even more showers, maybe a few storms heading into Thursday to Friday as well. But this does bring in some pretty good drought busting conditions. We could see uh, some amounts up to around an inch or higher for a lot of our hometowns, especially right now south of I-80, looking to see a couple of inches of rain by the time we wrap things up by Friday evening. We'll keep the chance for a couple more showers on the board, too, as we start the weekend. Highs do stay pretty consistent in the low 60s until we get to next weekend. Start to bring in some cooler air with highs in the mid-50s. For more weather information, you can go on to WQAD.com or download the WQAD News 8 app.